Hello YouTube, this is ITHMANIC25 here. Um, today I will be showing you how to decompile Terraria and recompile it with uh, the source code. So first things first, we need to have this program called ILSpy. I will put a link in the description below. We're going to go File, Open, and we will go to our desktop. Um, and so we find our Terraria executable, um, a shortcut works as well. And so it will load uh, Terraria into this. Um, so basically now we go hit File and Save Code. And we will go to our desktop and we will create a new folder. And you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name mine Terraria. We'll go inside the folder and save the project. So now it's going to start decompiling. Um, this can take anywhere from two to five minutes depending on your computer. And I will start the video back up once it's done. All right, well, hello, YouTube. Um, just finished decompiling here. So now that we have our Terraria folder, we are going to go ahead and click uh, our project file. So we're going to open this up. And so um, we're going to go to the Solution Explorer on the right-hand side. Hit this drop-down menu under the Terraria folder. Um, and this is our source code, basically. So we're going to go ahead and go to debug, uh, hit build solution or F6. So you basically want to save this in the same place as your um, project that you're working on. So I'm going to go ahead and save it right here. Save. So it's going to do this, and we're going to get a whole bunch of errors. Um, I have already done two of them. So you should end up with like 90 errors and 9 warnings. Um, if you are familiar with C Sharp, um, you should know that you um, warnings don't matter. They're just kind of pointless. Um, but you can fix them if you want to. Um, and then errors need to be fixed before it can actually work. So basically we're going to go through and we're going to just double click on each error and it's going to go turn into something like this. So it's like cannot convert um, an integer to a byte so we have to cast it. So that's basically going to look like this and that. So this is a cast um, yeah so you can see it just went through and so to make it quicker I'm going to go through like this and then put that parenthesis at the end. So right here And I'm going to speed up the video um, so you can see the uh, finished result. All right, um, so we stopped here, and we basically got down to this error. It says int num 61 equals num 56, question, question, negative 1. Uh, we don't want this code. Uh, we want, instead, we want this code. So uh, take a moment to pause that and copy and paste it. Uh, basically, we want the question colon operator, uh, operators, instead of, question question uh, so yeah it looks like that
All right, um, so once we get to this line, it says this dot velocity not equal to value 2. Um, we're basically going to do a thing called a comment out. So we're going to go slash slash. Um, and so basically this tells the compiler don't read this line um, because, yeah, that's not a very, or that's not a true uh, statement in programming. All right, um, then we're going to get to this line. Um, it's going to be like int num80 equals um, num, num75 question question negative 1. We want to change it to this statement. Let's go ahead and uh, copy that. All right, um, so we can officially go through our code and not have any errors. Uh, oops, scroll up, it's a little offset. Um, so yeah, basically now we can hit F6, which will say build succeeded. So we have zero errors, which is what we want. All right, so uh, now we have a few options. Um, we can remove steam. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit control F. We're going to hit, we're going to search steam. And it's going to bring this up. Um, so basically we just want to cross out, or we want to comment out everything that's not main.run. And so we can uh, leave that, and that should work. So now we do not need to uh, have Steam, which is nice. All right, um, so now the next option is go to main.cs, go um, check bunny, like that. And let's scroll over. And so this is to get the collector's edition of the game instead of just um, the uh, client edition. So basically all we want is main.ced is true. Um, so that's basically, yeah. So there we go. So now we can hit F6, go to our desktop. All right, um, so now that we're on our desktop, we're going to open up our folder, go to bin, release, and then we'll see that uh, we just have these two or three files. You might have this one. Uh, probably not. Um, so now we're going to go to our shortcut, our game. Uh, we're going to open the file location, if it is a shortcut. Uh, then we're going to take content. We're going to copy that folder, click in here and paste it. So basically this is all of our images and like uh, game materials I guess uh, used for playing the games and that is needed to make it run. So now we can go ahead and hit Terraria.exe and the game should load up without any errors. Uh, so now we can go and choose a map. Um, it should work. Oops. It should work. Um, no, but like, um, yeah, the, the worlds will load. Um, your old worlds will work. Your old people will work. Because uh, no modifications have been made to the game. With that in mind, uh, as you start to make mods or edit certain things of the game, um, Certain aspects can get a little bit uh, messed up, so keep that in mind. But if you're not too worried and really looking forward to this robot, stay with it. Um, so yeah, basically this is just your regular game. Um, nothing different, just uh, now you have the source code and can make edits. Um, so thank you for watching. Uh, please comment, like, subscribe. Uh, feel free to ask questions. I will be available for help. Um, so, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching.